So it is um, Friday and I have put moisturizer on my face. So we are going to continue doing that until class starts. Um, I'm actually cleaning my room. And by cleaning, I mean packing up. I have to put everything in here, everything in that. All the books go in that box. All the non-books go in this one. Um, I actually don't have that much stuff to pack up. I have two other suitcases that I found in a trash can. <sighs> and I might not use those. I have that as well. But everything else has to go and be packed up somehow, somewhere. As I move out, and I think two weeks. Um, I have this sign that I was given because I asked for it. And they were like, yeah, you can have it. So, yeah, I got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do with all this stuff and pack it up as soon as humanly possible. I got to be honest with you. It's always a little weird at the end of the year of any school year for me when you can tell that it's over and everything's more relaxed and there's not much you have to do. Oh, and don't don't worry about my spelling. I'm just typing to type and then I'm going to correct it all later. I'm also not a very good typer, if you couldn't tell. Um... We had typing class in school. I didn't take it very seriously because I didn't realize how important it was going to be growing up. But for the most part, um, yeah, I, I don't know. My fingers are also, I don't know, like it's easier to do this shit than it is to like think of words and type them. But anyway, the year is over for this school year, at least for this class. And now I am, uh, you can watch that. Um, and so now I'm like literally not even doing real work, you know, I'm just doing a, an evaluation of the class instead of a prompt, which was really nice for him to do because I was not about to just sit here and come up with a whole nother, I don't know, like prompt shit or response to a prompt. I mean, I was going to do it anyway, but you know. Um, yeah, it's, there's always this feeling inside me that I could have done more during the semester or there should have been a lot more done during the semester, whether by me or by the people who teach me. And now I'm kind of at that point of just like, I wish I could have done more, but I also realize even if I were given the opportunity, it had, have, it had to have been something really, really cool that I would have done. And it wouldn't just be any random old thing. Because now I'd only taken three classes this semester. So I really did not have any sort of, what would you call it? Um, oh, wow. Uh-oh. That's not going to fit. Um, oh, maybe it will. Uh, I really just didn't have the motivation to do anything more than what I was asked to do to graduate. So now I am sitting here, going to finish this assignment, probably go to the gym and work on hamstrings again. I love the gym and I love working hamstrings, but I usually cannot work hamstrings because I, uh, oh, she needed inside. That sucks. Um, because usually they cramp really bad, and so I'll, I'll always end up stopping them, but I realized if I work hamstrings and I don't go all the way up, and I go maybe like, not even halfway, maybe like a quarter way, I'm still working the hamstring, but I'm not getting the cramp. So, that's what's happening with that. Um, I wonder what they're gonna do with all these ugly ass rocks. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this and start my day, and we'll see what happens from there. Anyway, I will see you next time. A thing that I've learned to do in the past four years is to not let anyone disturb what I'm doing. And to explain that a little better, I'm going to explain it in terms of if you see someone that you know and you talk to them for a little bit and you realize you're talking for them for too long but you already have something to do, Look at the little bird. Looks really cool. Um, you should like cut off the conversation and go do uh, what you were going, continue doing what you were going to do and not like 
just sit there for like 30 minutes while you have other things to do. I used to do this a lot when I would meet somebody that I knew or kind of knew and just sit there and talk to them for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Very dumb idea. Um, as doing so, it looks a little biker gay. Um, as doing so would kind of ruin, kind of throw off what I had to do that day. And that is always a negative thing. So I've learned to, if I know somebody or meet somebody or going to go talk to somebody and I realize the conversation's running on for too long and I know that I have things to do, I'm okay with just like cutting it off and saying what happens. Because usually, as I explained before, I wouldn't do that. So now I've become accustomed of doing that. So now I'm walking to the gym to get my legs a little warm up before I start doing my leg workouts. I will say, I think going to the gym is a weird, it's become weirdly like famous over the past three or four years. Like literally everybody goes to the gym now it's very interesting whether they go to planet fitness or they go to a very expensive gym in california they all go now are some people are going because they want to some people are going because they realize they need to some people are going just for the atmosphere and to say that they go to the gym and others are going because why the fuck not, right? I guess for me, it was originally because I needed to work towards something and I was working towards that thing. But as things have gotten, well, as that thing did not pan out, I have become very much just someone who goes to the gym to work on physique, I guess, and also maintain a certain amount of strength that I feel is important for people to have so that way they're not exasperably weak. I don't even think that's a word. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't bring my book. Damn it. Oh, well. I'll just come back and read it. Anyway, um, yeah. So I've come to the realization that I want to be able to keep whatever minimal strength I have left and maybe grow upon that strength as well as just something that is, I guess, kind of important to me. Man, he's driving way too fast. <sighs> um, so, yeah. I think my ultimate goal is to have a place where I have some machines at home. Granted, I don't even have a home, so... That'll be interesting. But ideally, I want at least a hamstring curling machine. Um, let's see. A few weights. What the fuck else do I do? Oh, a trap bar deadlift. That's always fun. And uh, one of those pull down machines. But yeah. That's it for now. I will see you in whatever time. So I'm gonna do this now. So post gym workout, I guess. I did 80 of those hamstring curl things. Um, I did like 60 yesterday. I probably should have given it another whole day to rest, but I was just kind of like, you know, why not work them out extra? as there's really no reason not to. So that's what I did. Um, let's see. So now I'm waiting for this campus connector thing. Um, and it's coming up right now, so that'll be fun. But yeah, 
That's all I have right now, and I will talk to you later. I think one of the major problems I have right now is that I am bored. <sighs> I am very bored. And while I know a lot of people, they have their own groups of people to hang out with. So I only get to hang out with those people at certain times. When they have allocated time or when they are bored themselves, then they come contact me. So that's cool and amazing. Um, and I think that's something that hasn't changed since being a teenager and probably won't change throughout a majority of my life. Assuming that I don't have a job then. Uh, I don't know, I've realized through my inner workings of being a human being that teenagers and old people have something in common is not that they're all bored like teenagers have nothing to do ever old people are literally just sitting um, sitting around doing nothing all the time so they're extremely bored and so now i'm in that category of being extremely bored so that's wonderful uh but yeah other than that well, i know that guy i know of other than that, um, I'm always bored. Because there's always nothing to do. But yeah, that's fun. Um, hmm. Eh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I have no idea. But that's okay. Because I don't need to have an idea. I just need to be doing something until the idea comes to me. But yeah, that's it. So now we're done eating and we're going to go... What am I going to do? Probably lie down for a little bit. I have a meeting at 5. It's not very important. I don't even know if I want to go. But it's for something that I did earlier in the semester. And I got an award for it. Or a recognition that I did it. So now I'm actually gonna try to go to the award show or whatever the fuck it is <sighs> um oh my god my legs um, i haven't seen the cats so the university has this cat named tenders and uh if you ever meet the cat it seems pretty drugged out like 100 percent of the time probably because they had to finally neuter the damn cat oh there there's tenders Mm -hmm. See, there you go. Got to see tenders, but yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a neat cat. Pet it all the time. I don't pet it all the time. I pet it when I can, or when I feel like it, or whatever. But yeah. Oh man, I gotta pee. Yeah, so I'm gonna go lie down, urinate. Well, no, urinate and then lie down. And just kind of live my life or something like that. Here I am at an award show. Not an award show. What is this? An award dinner? An induction ceremony. I'm not being inducted for anything, but I am getting an award, I think, or something. I don't know. Anyway. Yes, those are some human beings over there. Some over there. Some people over there. And that guy. And I'm sitting next to Joey. But he's too busy. <laughs> what? What? This is a story. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, he's on Snapchat looking at stories he doesn't care about. And I'm going to sit here and finish all of my yummy food. And after this, I'm going to go get seconds or I'm going to get a salad. One of the two. Anyway, that's all I'm doing. For now. Friend here from the DR, represent the DR. Add my hair, Sandra. Right, DJ, give me the next track and see what them got. Broke out the soda. I'm sure the fear for you. I'm sure the fear for you. It looked like it was
I don't anything. Anything? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm bringing out a supporting jerk fest this year. I, 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 I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah. Once again, thank everybody for coming. And at right. this time, I'd like to call right my now. team. Right now, we're out here. We're at Jerk Fest. Shout out to the Jamaican, Amer Jamaican American Student Association. Um, this has been Chance. I'm signing off. <laughs> 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 <laughs>